Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett, and today I figured we'd do another Tinkercad tutorial. Um, now, I had a few questions in the comments asking how I shell objects or how I make them hollow. Um, and Tinkercad doesn't really have a nice feature for doing this, which is unfortunate, but um, you know, it's not too hard to shell things out yourself. Um, obviously, the more complex the object gets, the harder it's going to be but um, you can get close pretty easily. So let's just start simple, like with these cylinders here. Um, obviously, if you wanna shell those out, just bring in another cylinder that is a hole and make it taller. I usually move them down just for good measure because um, sometimes Tinkercad can get weird with that. And then basically uh, make, the, make the cylinder the same size. So there we have a cylinder that is the exact same size as the one we wanna cut and you can tell by all the flickering there that it, they're, um, they're lined up perfectly. So say that we just wanted a two millimeter thick wall here. Um, it's at 60, I'm just gonna move two in to 58 and do that all on all sides. So that one will go to 56, this one will go to 58, and then this one will go to 56. Now we can just combine these and boom, we've got that mostly shelled. Now obviously it's not a perfect shell, because a perfect shell would have these shapes cut out on the inside too, but um, for most things that's not going to be that big of a deal. And you can obviously apply that same technique to half spheres, spheres, um, boxes, things like that, and it'll all work pretty well. But I'm assuming most of you could figure that out. Um, where it really starts to get complicated is with more complex shapes. So let's um, we'll drag a box out here. So that's a pretty complex shape. I'm just actually gonna cut off the bottom of this sphere over here to make it a little more believable that it's printable. So if you have an object like this um, and it's grouped, you know, you may your first thought may to just be duplicate it and resize it and hope that works, um, which in some cases that will work, but let's take a look at a case that won't, which this is one of those cases. So I'll hit Control D to duplicate. I'll make it a hole and um, Let's scale it down just a bit. And now you can see right here that it is poking through the sides. And the reason for that is that this um, bridge sort of between them is also getting smaller. So these, uh, the pyramid and the sphere are moving closer together as it gets smaller. And if I move that down, you can see that. So that's why um, shelling like this does not work and it's a bit more complex. But luckily, an easy way to do that is um, either leave them separate, or if you're working with a model that um, you brought in here that you can't really separate, just look for sort of basic shapes in the model and bring those in and try to match it as much as you can. Because um, most of the time when you're shelling, uh, you're just looking to save filament and not really for mechanical needs. Because if you're, um, if you're doing this for mechanical needs and need to be very precise, um, I would recommend taking it into a different tool than Tinkercad just because it's a lot harder to do in here. But for something that's just trying to save filament or an aesthetic purpose, just duplicate it, make it a hole, move it down a little bit. And for a pyramid, that should work perfectly actually. Group, right there, shelled. And then for this one right here, we can do the same thing, go hole. And this one I'm actually just gonna scale down a little bit by two. And so there you can also see that it gets shorter, which is the culprit. So I'm just gonna take it and extend it out. And then since I want it to be through the bottom, I'm just gonna extend this bottom part a little bit too. Click that and group. So now those two are shelled. And then let's do this one. So this one I'm just gonna duplicate. I'm gonna move that one down by two and make it a hole and then group right here. And then that one is hold out as well. But now when we group these, the, these are gonna be sticking through. So an easy way to fix that is just ungroup these two, then group the whole thing again, and then add in these, um, the holes that you wanted before. Oh, and actually I messed up again ungroup all of them and just add the holes afterwards. So group there and then I'm just going to select the whole thing, 
group, and boom, we've got it shelled. And actually you can see right here why I drag things down through the ground because Tinkercad did not handle this very well and we've got some very, very tiny protrusions right there and those will show up on the print. So if we wanted to fix that pretty easily, I'll just hit Control Z and then I will um, group select this and then shift select so I only have that, um, that hole in there selected and then I'm just going to come down to point one and drag this down just a little bit so it is sticking through. Now when I group these we should have it perfect. Yep, right there. So that all looks good. And that's the basics for how to shell an object in Tinkercad. And the same things can be applied if you want to leave the bottom on here, just don't uh, bring it down through the ground and you'll just have hollow objects. All right, guys, well, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments or if you'd like me to do a tutorial on anything else here. And then if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and get subscribed if you're not already. If you're wondering what to watch next, check the little eye up in the corner. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. See you next time.